I scoured the internet for everyone's opinion about what is the best mixer for spiced rum. And today I'll be trying all of them, all 26 of them, to find which is good, if any of them are good. I'm sure there's some good ones in there. I'll be using a Kraken Gold Spiced Rum, not because it's my favorite. It was actually middle of the line for me. It's because the flavor of it is like right in the middle of all the different spiced rums. There's no extreme flavor in there. It's just the stuff you'd get out of most of them. Sweetness and caramel and vanilla. Some spiced rums have very strong flavors that aren't in all other spiced rums. So it could mix different with whatever mixer you're using. This should be a good right in the middle of the road for a test. This Kraken Gold Spiced Rum is $23. I've got these two ounce glasses, maybe for dessert drinks, but it'll be a good size. I'll just put half ounce of the Kraken in there. And if I fill it to the lip, that'll be a three to one ratio of mixer to spiced rum. I won't have to measure every single one. Some people like two to one ratios or even up to like four to one. I think three to one is probably a good spot for this test. Some things are gonna be specifically a different ratio, but unless I point that out, it's gonna be three to one mixer to spiced rum. I'll rate them on a scale of one to 100 about how I like them, and at the end, I'll come back and rank them in order, see which is the best. I'm going to be testing them in order of how odd they seem to me. Starting off with stuff that's normal, going up to these crazy mixers that I have no clue if they're gonna work or not. So let's just start off with number one. Probably the standard mixer, just a uh, Coke. There's no way I would get through 26 full-size drinks. That is why I'm doing these smaller versions. So a rum and Coke is normal thing. A rum and, a spiced rum and Coke is probably pretty normal also. It's a little sweet for me, seeing how there's sweetness in the rum and the Coke, and it would be a lot better on some ice. It's good. 69. Next up is ginger beer. Ginger beer is a stronger version of ginger ale. This is a, a nice one. Usually it's pretty sweet, but the stronger ginger flavor, I think, might be better than Coke. Yeah, I like that better than Coke. If you put that on ice, that would that would be great. Excellent, I would say. Give that 81. Moving on to grapefruit soda. This is a good mix with uh, Jamaican rum. This one happens to be a diet Chasta. Even though it's diet, it should tell me if it's good drink or not. That's a little weird. Those flavors clash. Really makes the vanilla of the spiced rum come through. I think it's a little worse than Coke. Give that a 67. What are you doing with a mixing glass, Tony? Don't worry about it. It's science. Number four is pineapple juice. Seems like it would be a good mixer to me. Pineapple and rum. Pineapple juice isn't too sweet. The pineapple juice completely covers up the spiced rum. It just tastes like pineapple juice to me. But I like pineapple juice, so it's still good. Give it a 63. Number five is ginger ale. So this should be similar to the ginger beer. Maybe... A little more refreshing, lighter flavor. It's like ginger beer light. Flavor is a lot less strong. The rum actually comes through a little bit more. It might even be a little more balanced. But I don't like it as much as the ginger beer. It's just a little too light. So I'll give that a 78. Number six is hot 
apple cider. I just heated up some apple cider in the microwave. This is kind of like a hot toddy or even a hot buttered rum without the butter. And I like hot buttered rum. That is amazing. Awesome winter drink. It's just like a hot toddy. It already has the spices in it. It's not too sweet. That's really good for a hot drink. I'm gonna give that an 85. Number seven is orange juice. I don't know about this one. Orange juice and rum. Ugh. No, that's bad. I know orange juice itself has been getting worse in recent years. I think because the disease on the orange trees in Florida, they, they're using green oranges pretty much for orange juice. And the ones that are actually orange, they uh, use to, for fresh fruit. No, that is, that's awful. That is not a good mixer for spice drum. I'm going to give that a 28. Number eight, lemonade. This is kind of like making a spiced rum sour. A sour is usually lemon or lime juice with some sugar and whatever liquor you're putting in there. So lemonade is basically lemon juice and sugar and water. And the water in the sour you'd get from shaking it with ice. So this is really a poor man's spiced rum sour. No, that's not good though. They're conflicting flavors. Really brings out a bitterness in there that is not good. It's not the worst though. I'll give that a 52. Number nine is tonic water. Usually goes with gin, but why not spiced rum? Some tonic waters are sweet, but this one is a uh, zero sugar and it doesn't have any artificial sweeteners. I'm not the biggest fan of gin and tonic. I mean, I, I'll have it every once in a while, but I gotta be in the mood. That's not the worst. <laughs> you could taste the rum and it adds a bitterness, the quinine. It's a little citrusy. It's decent. Uh, 57. I'm gonna move this over here. So you can see progress. Number 10 is Sprite. This one seems like it might be a little odd to me. Maybe the lemon lime citrus will go well with the spiced rum. What? Why does it taste like butter? No, that is bad. I think that's worse than orange juice. That gets a 19. It tastes like butter soda with some, the worst parts of what you'd think with rum. The ethanol, is this Sprite any good? It tastes good by itself. Number 11 is cranberry juice. Now this, this is the Ocean Spray sweetened cranberry juice from concentrate, but it is actually cranberry juice. It's not a cocktail. Eh, that is poor. It's almost bad. It's a, I wouldn't call it bad, but on the scale, it is poor. Generously give that a 42. Number 12 is club soda. I've got the Walmart brand, Club Soda. I've been pleasantly surprised by adding Club Soda to just plain spirits. Sometimes it really opens up the flavor and lets you pick out different things that you wouldn't normally be able to taste. So I think this has potential. Almost like making a spiced rum spritz. No, in that ratio, it just waters it down. That's not good. Yeah, that 
it doesn't help it. It doesn't pull out any flavors. I really like adding uh, some club soda to brandy. Can make them really nice actually, but it doesn't work with this. I wouldn't call it bad though. It's just eh. So 44. Number 13 is Dr. Pepper. It's probably my favorite soda. I don't know how it's gonna go with this. Could be better than Coke. Coke was surprisingly not that good. That's all right. Makes it a little fruitier. It doesn't mix well with the spice drum. They're kind of separate. It tastes like there's Dr. Pepper and then there's spice drum. And you're drinking them both at the same time. It doesn't taste like a, its own drink. It's good, barely. So I'll give it a 61. Number 14 is mango juice. This says mango nectar. And I don't actually know what that means by nectar. I thought nectar, something to do with pollen? I don't know, but this is juice. It's liquid and it's from mangoes. And it's really good actually, on its own. But it's something you can only drink a small amount of, unless you wanna get Really fat. I think how good this mango juice is, is bringing up how good I think this is. really like it, actually. I think it's better than the Coke. I'll give it a 71. Number 15 is cold brew. I've got this Starbucks cold brew. I picked the medium roast version. I don't ever drink this stuff, so I don't know how this is going to work. We're getting into that weird experimental range of mixers and it's only going to get weirder. I can't even taste the rum in there. Just tastes like a cold coffee. I mean, it's a good way to cover up the flavor of rum and it, it tastes pretty decent. Almost good. And I'm not the biggest coffee drinker either. So I'll give that a 59. Maybe if you really like coffee and you don't like rum and, I don't know, you want to get drunk. Number 16 is grapefruit juice. This is 100% grapefruit juice from Concentrate with no sugar or sweetener added. That is good though. I taste the vanilla from the spiced rum. It's, that is a perfect sweetness. It's not extra sweet like a lot of the sodas are. It has a little bitterness from grapefruit. You could taste the spices. You could taste the rum slightly. That's amazing. This is the first one I just drank the whole one. That was really good, actually. I am so surprised by that grapefruit juice and spice rum. Now, if you put that over some ice, a lot of these, I think you got to put over ice. These are all refrigerator temperature plus very warm rum. And the three to one is going to be just chilly. It's going to come out a chilly drink. But if you put it on some ice, I don't think it would water it down too much. That was... That's exceptional. My mind isn't completely blown by it, but that was really good. I'm gonna give that a 91. Number 17, how about some hot chocolate? Got my poop mug with some hot chocolate mix. I make it with just hot water. I know a little bit of milk in there would probably be good, but I'm just plain in hot water. Now, how am I gonna pour it in there without Dumping it all over the place. Just just do it fast. Don't think twice. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I should have thought twice. That is really good. This is better than the plain hot chocolate. And it doesn't taste alcoholic. This is, this is going to be dangerous this winter. <laughs> That is better than uh, hot apple cider. 
I've got to give that a 90. That was surprisingly good. I really thought the hot chocolate was going to be maybe decent. I'm very pleasantly surprised. All right, number 18 is iced tea. Now this is a sweet tea. I'm not sure if you could say this is iced tea, but I don't got time to make iced tea. I think this is good enough. This one is sweet tea made with cane sugar. I'm gonna taste this actually. This is what I would think iced tea, other than there's no ice. Nope, not good. I would not want to drink that. That's bad. It's a uh, 38. You're not really going to drink that, are you, Tony? Next up, number 19 is root beer. It's delicious and creamy because it says so right on the can. Root beer is always extra foamy. This is going to be a bitch. Somehow the rum negated all the foam. No, that's not good. The rum makes the root beer worse, and the root beer makes the rum worse. They just don't work together well. So give that a 56. Number 20, we're really getting experimental now, is coconut water. I am not much of a fan of coconut water. It tastes dirty or wrong to me. Not a fan. So... You could take my opinion with that with a grain of your own salt. Oh, that is so bad. Who who does that? Oh. That is really bad. Why do the ones that are really bad I keep going back for like thirds and fourths? I keep thinking to myself that it can't be that bad, but it is. It is terrible. I mean, to get in the zero to nine range, you have to be, I call it abysmal, and it has to be really, really fucking bad. Like, make me gag bad. So, this doesn't make me gag. So, I give it a 13. Number 21 is warm milk. I mean, warm milk is delicious but you kind of grow out of it in your first 20 years of life it is an ingredient to me not a beverage but we'll see how it is with some spice rum that does not look appetizing to me this is this is the first one i'm very hesitant to drink <laughs> The rum makes it interesting, at least. That is not good, though. It tastes like some kind of baking experiment gone wrong. <laughs> well, that is a 24. Oh, and am I going to really dump it into here, too? No, oh, that just instantly... <laughs> Instantly chunkified it. Oh no. Gross. That may have been a huge mistake. Number 22 is lime juice. This one had me thinking quite a bit. Lime and rum really go well together. And this is sort of like making a daiquiri without the sweetness. But spiced rum has sweetness in it. I don't know how well this is going to go. The ratio said one part spice rum and one part lime juice. And as you can see, I'm going to use the bottled lime juice. And I am an advocate of fresh lime being better than bottled lime juice in cocktails. But I'm going to just try this with bottled stuff. So I am going to just put another half ounce of lime juice in there. It seems like it's a, a little too much. You never know, though. I have already been surprised today. That's too much lime. However, if you put that on a, 
on ice and watered it down slightly, it would probably be better. It's too sour. It's almost decent, so I'll give that a 49. That is going to work well with that milk. Number 23 is elderflower liqueur. This is a little different because this is the first alcoholic mixer that I've tried. It's very sweet. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. It's supposed to be one to one. So if it does taste good, it's definitely going to be a sipper because it's going to be very sweet and thick is what I'm thinking. I have it in my uh, sample bottles. No, nope, nope. That is, is not gag worthy. That is horrible. Who would have thought those would have mixed together? Not very many people because whoever did is wrong. Oh, that's, an, that's another one that they each make each other one worse. That is a 21. Number 24 is pomegranate juice. I'm going to use palm. That's the only pomegranate juice I ever see available. You can make your own homemade grenadine out of palm. That's what I've used it for. Pomegranate kind of reminds me of green beans, like canned green beans. It has the same flavor in there somewhere. They kind of work well together though. Yeah, that is pretty good actually. It's a little, little sweet. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. I think it's better with the rum than just plain. So that's always a good, good sign when they combine together to make something better versus combine together to make something worse. So I will give that a 68. It's good. Number 25 is chocolate milk. So I will mix up some chocolate milk right now. I don't know about everyone else, but when I was a kid, we made chocolate milk with Hershey's syrup and milk. And just stirred it together. There was no measurements. It was just, just by the color. So this is like child's first cocktail. Six ounces of milk, two ounces of spiced rum, and one ounce of Hershey's syrup. All right, I hope I could pour this better than the hot chocolate. I can't say that is good, because <laughs> it's not. But it's not the worst thing. 48. It's going to add to this milk nastiness. Now, number 26. The one I thought was the weirdest and the most unlikely to be good. Just plain cold milk. Oh. For some reason, a warm milk seems like it would be better with some spices and some rum, but just cold milk. Something about the rum makes it taste buttery. Butter is usually a good flavor, but drinking butter, that is, that's bad. Ah, that is a 31. And now I have to dump it in this tub of regret. <laughs> so now I've tried every mixer the internet has come up with. So let's, let's rank them according to what I thought. Nothing was in the zero to nine abysmal gag worthy level. The worst off was coconut water and terrible. Coconut water, it was almost making me gag. It was that bad. Next up, surprisingly bad, also terrible range, was Sprite at 19. Don't even try these ones, because just trust me, they're, they're horrible. Now we're going to get into the awful range in the 20s, starting with elderflower liqueur. It was not a good mix it's horrible and then warm milk at 26 don't do it orange juice at 28 also awful 
Then we get up to the bad range. Cold milk and spiced rum, 31. Then iced tea and 38. Then we get to the poor range of 40 to 49. Cranberry juice is 42. Club soda, 44. Chocolate milk, 48. And equal measure of lime juice is 49. So now we're above 50. And these are the ones where I think you could go ahead and try. Decent is 50 to 59. Something you could drink, but I wouldn't want to waste my time with them. Lemonade is 52. Root beer, 56. Tonic water, 57. And cold brew, 59. After that, we get to the range where I say it is good. And it's something I would drink. Even though in the good range, it's not something I would go to which starts with Dr. Pepper at 61, pineapple juice, 63, grapefruit soda, 67, pomegranate juice, 68, and then the standard Coke and spice rum is 69. Nice. And then over this line is great, which is something I definitely wouldn't mind drinking at any time, really. The mango juice was 71, ginger ale, 78, now we get up to the 80s, which is excellent, which is something I definitely would go to when I'm looking for a drink. Ginger beer at 81. And then for a hot drink, probably only do it in the winter, but a warm apple cider and spiced rum is a 85. And then in the 90s is exceptional. I was really, really surprised with these because I didn't have high hopes for them. At 90 was hot chocolate in spiced rum. It's definitely something I'm going to be drinking this winter. At least once, if I can remember. And then grapefruit juice <laughs> is the winner at 91. I don't know where that came from. It's completely, you know, left field with how good it was. Grapefruit juice and specifically this Kraken Gold Spice Rum, which, as you could see... The bottle is very low now. So that leaves us with one thing. This monstrosity. How could I not taste this? No one in the history of the universe has ever tasted a mix like this. And no one in the history of the universe ever will again. So for science, it has to be done. The worst, part, <laughs> the worst part about it is the milk. It went in there and it just chunk, chunkified and floated to the top. I'm going to have to stir this up a little with how gross it is. Oh, look at that. I got I to gotta smell it. What could it possibly smell like? Oh, it's sour. It... <laughs> oh no it smells like vomit somehow the, the sour notes completely overcome whatever all the sweetness all the sweetness and the spice rum that's in here it's completely overcome by sour sort of smells like vomit but not as bad it's got hints of vomit and grapefruit and spices will it be more disgusting if i put it over ice or less disgusting i decided on ice oh the milk chunks i feel like i'm opening a black hole to another dimension Cheers. <laughs> there is no words in the English language to describe the flavor of this. But I did not gag. I did not puke. I don't believe I'm going to say this but I like it. 
How is that possible? This is amazing. All that carbonation is gone by now. So there's no carbonation. It doesn't taste like milk. There's, I mean, there's a decent amount of milk in there. You can see it floating around. It doesn't taste alcoholic at all. And there's quite a bit of spice rum in there. Actually refreshing. I am definitely not bullshitting you. Because if this was disgusting, I wouldn't have drank the whole glass. There's just something about it. Can't stop drinking it. The s smell is not the best. I would give this a 73. I averaged all 26, not including the grapefruit juice, which I drank the whole thing. I didn't add any in there. And it only comes up to a 52.64 score. So somehow everything mixed together is greater than the sum of the parts. If you want to see me blind taste test all the spiced rums that I bought, you can watch this video right here and find out what my favorite actually was. I will see you next time.